Plex Garage, where today we are going to be working on the 2007 BMW 530i. <clears throat> if you've ever had a old German car, you know that the work is never done once it's out of warranty. Uh, today we've got an issue with some squealing coming from the front end and one of our headlights is out. So we'll get it pulled in here and show you what's going on. Okay, so as you could tell when we pulled the car in, it's got a pretty nasty squeak noise coming from the front end, and you could probably tell that one of the HIDs is out as well. Uh, one of the issues I think is the biggest problem with these BMW engines is the rubber and plastic that BMW uses um, on all the gaskets, seals, hoses, that sort of thing. That's typically the downfall of these inline six engines. Um, I haven't driven this car in a while. It's the wife's daily driver So I'm gonna kind of give it a once-over and show you guys what's currently wrong with it after she's had it for the last 10 15,000 miles without me paying a whole lot of attention to it. So looking in here. Obviously, we've got some oil leaks um, pretty standard with BMW uh, Issues will often come from the uh, oil filter housing gasket, which is obviously leaking on mine Looks like we've got a power steering hose leak or a canister leak right there Looks like the valve cover gasket that I replaced uh, a couple years ago is leaking as well. And then we've got some plastic that's weeping in the front. And looks like our expansion tank is okay for right now, but I believe it's original, so we'll probably replace that in the pretty near future. So, in order to get to the pulleys, we are gonna be taking off the fan. A uh, nice thing about that is it's an electric fan, so uh, we don't have to worry about pulling it off the front end of the engine. Um, other cool thing about this car is it does have a electric water pump, so the belt does not run the water pump on this car. So it's going to make it a lot easier to change out the belt and pulleys on this car. So um, let's get to work on that. We will uh, start on belts, pulleys, see if we can get rid of that squeak, and then we'll go on from there. trick on this fan when it's in position this is over to the side and that slides into a slot down there once you've got it out of the slot just push it in and then the fan comes out nice and easy thanks for that one BMW okay now that we've got the fan out of the way we've got some room to work on this pulley system and you can see that this is one greasy BMW we're gonna have quite a bit more work to do on this thing with all these oil leaks but what we're after today is we want to replace this idler pulley here. Actually, that's a tensioner pulley. We want to replace the entire belt. And then we also want to replace the idler pulley right there. So we got a box of goodies from the guys over at FCP Euro. I got them for all the parts that I can get from them because they've got a lifetime warranty on the parts. So as long as you own the car, they will give you a new part if one of these goes bad in the future. So here we've got a tensioner pulley. This one is already under load. It's got the uh, keeper here, so we'll just get that lined up and then pull that out and that will tension our belt. Comes with a new bolt. Uh, BMW likes to use aluminum bolts that are one-time use only. This will stretch out once you get it to torque and you cannot reuse the old one because it will just break on you. And here is Lexi here to help with the project today. 
up next in the box, we've got a new idler pulley. This one's pretty simple, no tension or anything. Just a brand new fresh bearing in that that will hopefully get rid of our noise problems. And then whenever you're working on it, it's usually best to just go ahead and get a new belt. They're cheap and it's good insurance. So we'll get working on getting the old ones out and getting the new ones in. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna take the dust caps off of the tensioner pulley and the idler pulley. They just come off, pop them off with a flat tip screwdriver. The tensioner pulley, you're gonna take a ratchet with the correct Torx bit in it. You're gonna insert that in. And then you're just gonna tighten it and that will move that tensioner pulley and take the tension off the belt. So then you can slide the belt off. So, we'll get that done, go on to the next step. So we've got the new pulleys on, we've got the new belt on. The engine is still very greasy. I tried to degrease it a little bit, but it is winter in Idaho, so hosing it down is not really an option. So we're gonna go with this, hope that works. So we've got the new idler pulley there. Uh, I'll put the torque specs in the video description below. Uh, I believe that one was 39, but double check down there. A new dust cap, a new tensioner pulley with the dust cap. Uh, I lied to you guys earlier. Um, there is actually a little Torx spot right here that you can use to detension that pulley. Uh, mine on the new one stripped out when I tried to pull the pin with it, so I ended up just uh, yanking this pin out with a pair of pliers. So if you're having a hard time getting that to move, try just yanking this out and that will put some tension back on your belt. So we got a new tensioner pulley there. So now all we gotta do is fire it up and see if we fix our problem. All right, we're all buttoned back up. Got our pulleys in place. Got our belt back on, fan is back on, and looking. Got our front end all tidy up. And that looks really nice. All right guys, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope that helps you if you ever have to do the pulleys and belt on your E60 to keep it going. Um, all the parts came from SCP Euro. I think it was about $70 for the belt and pulley kit. Uh, really pretty inexpensive. If you went to a dealer to have this job done, probably cost you a couple hundred bucks. Even at an indie mechanic, you're gonna end up paying out for it. So um, if you ever need that, check out SCP Euro lifetime warranty on all their parts. And this took about 20, 30 minutes with some pretty simple hand tools. So um, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, we'll hit the uh, headlights and some oil leaks next. So we'll uh, see you next time.